This is Mick from Available Beds. Welcome to our slideshow presentation of the Marco storage bed. Pictures shown are for our single Marco bed, but the instructions cover all the sizes in the range. The bed will arrive in three packages. You'll have your headboard, your side rails, and also your frame. Nice and easy to put together, and this video presentation will show you how to do it. First off, you need to get yourself a sharp knife to open the boxes. Parts of the bed are covered in bubble wrap. Again, be very careful if you're using a sharp knife. Unpack all the items, then check them all off against the first page of the instructions. All the tools and parts are supplied with this bed, and you will also see that the side rails have the pistons and framework already attached. Start off with getting your headboard, you will see the pre-drilled holes. This makes it easier to connect the side rails to the bed. Start off putting your two bolts either side of the bed onto the headboard for the side rails. Connect your side rails down and then tighten the bolts up. Once you've got both sides done, then it's time to put the corner brackets on. This stabilizes the bed. You'll also notice on these pictures that there is a small hole on one side of the corner brackets. These need to go to the uh, headboard end. Also, you will notice that they're a different level to the other end of the bed, but the footboard end, and this is because the frame will rest on the top ones there. Just get yourselves the Allen key, tighten it all together, and then once you've tightened all the bolts up, you can then move on to the footboard end of the bed. And the same applies here as to the headboard. Just connect the two brackets, four bolts, and then you need to connect your two sub brackets. Once these are all connected and tightened up, then you should have your bed frame ready and made. Next, we're going to move on to the side rails part of the bed. This is the unique feature of the Marco storage bed, and you can see the lift up mechanism as in the pictures. All you need to do is move the pistons down to the screw hole, put the piston back on and hand tighten the bolts. Just hand tighten. We're going to work on the frame itself. First we attach what looks like a handle which actually stops the mattress from falling onto the headboard. We're then going to uh, get the slats ready to put onto the frame. All you do is get your plastic end caps, make sure you put them onto the slats. Top tip here, make sure you do both ends before you attach them to the frame. And then all you need to do is push down with a firm click and the slats are in place. Also make sure that the slats are bent upwards. This is your sprung slat system. Same again, unique to this uh, Marco storage bed. Now it's time to attach the frame onto the uh, actual sides. There's two types of bolts. You've got a long bolt and a short bolt. We always start with the short bolt at the top end of the bed, which is the footboard end. Nice and easy, put the bolt straight through, connect the frame to the arms, and then tighten the washer and the nut up with the supplied tool. Now we're going to attach the support rail to the Marco frame. This important part of the bed, this stops the frame from flexing when you put your mattress on top of the bed. Use the long bolt supplied, put it all the way through the frame, through the support rail, and then just use the washer and the nut at the bottom and tighten them all up. To add the baseboards to the bottom of the bed, all you need to do is lift the bed up and slide the baseboards under. Okay, all we've got left now is the strap. Just put that into a circle, put it through itself, and then attach that to the bottom of the frame. This helps you then lift the frame up and down, when you, especially when you have the mattress on top of the bed for the weight. So that's it. Hopefully you've built your Marco storage bed. And don't forget to check us out at www.availablebeds.com.